Hi there, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the show. Look how beautiful. Somebody's showing out. Somebody's showing out. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. I want to show it's all the foliage. This tree is magnificent. I don't want to get too much sun in there. What kind of a tree is that? Do you know? Uh, I believe it's a, well, no, I don't. I thought it was a cherry tree at first, but uh, it's, it's gorgeous. I know that. Yeah. It's absolutely all the reds and yellows and asters and calicos and the, oh man, it's it's, uh, it's breathtaking every single day. It's absolutely. gorgeous there, yeah. You have a beautiful yeah. clear sky tonight. It's so interesting because you can tell by the sun placement in the sky that it's fall. Like you don't have to know. I mean, I guess it. I guess the the changing leaf colors on the tree also give right. it away. But yeah, like, yeah, it yeah. Feels yeah, like yeah. the sun placement makes it look like fall. Yeah, and it's crazy yeah. that the sky can be this like this type of blue when it's cold that it's not like it gets it's like almost like a sharp blue and the sun is like I don't yeah. know. It just yeah. gives it I guess I guess it gives it a different temperature. It's like such a different oh these mountains are just fucking killing me. Every day I go out, I just wanna die. I wanna die. Me too, wanna... DJ. We are going to someday. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, and it then, is and, gorgeous and then what? Yeah. Oh, and then what? I don't know. Are we ready to spiral already? We just started the episode. Oh, uh, nice. Okay. If, if I, if I, if I, if we're if we're asking the God question, if we're asking the God question, then especially like in the mood that I'm in right now. Like, I am liable to say, like, it is all around us. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, where isn't it? And just leave it at that. Like, man, if you're not, like, dazzled by the fucking, if your mind's not just blown apart by just, you know, looking around, well, that's what, that's what I figured a guy would be. That was beautiful. And the sun is, like, shining right on your face in the picture right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to start a cult and I will be your number one follower. Nah, it's beautiful. Nah. Yeah, but I might not mean all that all the way, by the way. I might not yeah. mean any of that. I, I could just be right out, pull right from the the taint of, of of existence. I am trying to get this thing open. I just can't. So what have you been up to? Uh, we have been uh, prepping our gardens for fall because up here in the north, our growing season is much, much shorter than yours. So we yeah. are about done. Um, so what we like to do for our gardens is uh, heavy, heavy uh, mulch layers. So okay. we usually use the chicken compost. We have a huge compost pile out back that we will pull from. So we'll scatter that around. Uh, we like to do a lot of cover crops. Have you learned about cover crops? You getting into that? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So uh -huh. you're cutting those down. So you're cutting those down now to cover. The mulch? No, we're planting those now. So we like oh, to you're use planting. radish. Okay. Okay. Radish for cover crop because um okay, so cover crop for people who don't know is something that you grow but you're not planning to harvest it. You grow it to help revitalize the soil or feed the soil. So um there's different types of plants and vegetables that you can use as cover crops. So we like to use radish because it grows so quick. And at the okay. end of our growing season, we have very, you know, we don't have a whole lot of time to really get something up and growing because our days get dark pretty quick up here in New York. Um, so we like to use these big, long white radishes. And the idea is that they grow really fast. They grow deep down into the soil. So they're, they're pulling up nutrients from deeper layers. But then you let them rot on purpose over winter and they rot. To so aerate. Mm -hmm. To aerate. Yep. They help break up uh, hard soil. Or like if right. you have really compacted earth, and then they also uh, they rot really quickly. So in the spring, you don't have to do anything to them; they're oh, they've red. just like composted in place. So we, we throw down our cover crop of radish, um, and then we like to do a heavy layer of hay if we can get our hands on it, which we usually can. Yeah, for sure. And just let it sit all winter. That's great. That's great. We're. Uh... We're just studying our like ours and what what 
you know, we are going, we are mulching it. Uh, the beds that we've already completely stopped, we've, uh, we've just, we've started mulching those. Uh, of course, like the compost has come out with, since we put it next to the chicken coop, has been doing do well. So, like, man, that was that was such a great idea. Thank you for that. Oh, like, that was uh, that's really worked out. Good. I'm glad. Um, I got it from somebody on YouTube. I learned it from someone oh, else. Dude. We uh we uh I actually ate our first uh, chicken egg meal this morning. <gasps> oh my goodness, how was it? Sure did. It was fucking great. It was, oh, it was awesome. We felt incredible. It felt incredible. Isn't that weird? Like you're so proud yeah. of yourself and you're so yeah. proud of your chickens. Really, it yeah. is. Like, yeah, yeah, there's something about it. And oh, it's that's been great. Yeah, yeah, it's been tripping. They've been tripping me out. Uh the, the the conversation, but like when you get a bird or an animal and it's like you forget, like, oh, we got these some bitches during the the I guess the I guess in the uh, winter. Well, no spring. I guess around April, right? There's a definitely spring. We got these chickens, so they really haven't experienced. Yeah, so they've never really experienced cold or anything. So like, it's got to be weird. Like we say that they're dumb and stuff, but like. They watching them. They know what to do, and they've never experienced this stuff. They're getting broody, and they're laying eggs, and they're laying eggs, and that's crazy. Like they've never laid eggs before, and now they're not only are they laying eggs, but you know they're they're getting ready for for winter, and they're getting broody, and they're and they're getting their like place inside the roost set, and it's just amazing to watch them. They've never, and there's nobody here to teach them. This is just pure instinct. It's not like there's an older chicken. This is like mm -hmm. generation one. You know what I mean? This is <laughs> patient crazy. zero. Yeah, yeah patient no. yeah, generation. Yeah. <laughs> chickens are, yeah. I think we've talked about this before, that chickens are known as being stupid. Okay, right. that's debatable, I guess. But um, but their instincts, like it is fascinating. It really is to watch them. It's their instincts are, are airtight. I mean, it's it is, it's amazing to watch them. Like you said, they've never learned from anyone. They've never experienced it before, but they know exactly what to do. Yeah, they know exactly yeah. what to do. And mm -hmm. also, Nessie knows what to do. Ooh, she oh, knows, God, what's she like, doing with the chickens? When it's, when it, well, no, when it's hot, you know what I'm saying? She don't want to lay with us. Like, she don't want to lay up in the bed and cuddle. Like, Sid, will, as a dog, will lay there and lay in the middle between us until she is literally panting, like, so hot, like, she can't breathe. And then she'll just stand up and, like, try to get cool. But it's like, we know it's hot. Why are you, like, completely burrowed in between us? Like, you could go sleep literally anywhere else. But, like, that's how Sid sleeps all the time. But when it's cold, man, this is what I get, this is what I get to do. I get to, I get to, wait, Nessie will come up. Cause she don't want to be like, you know, left alone because it's drafty in there. Well, we haven't had power these last couple of days, which has been exciting. The first yeah, day. Oh, exciting. That's a great attitude to have about that DJ. Yeah. What's going on with your power? Well, just basically uh, last year, I guess what happened. Well, one thing was we didn't know that there was a battery running this motherfucker. We didn't know that there was like a battery, what? you know, Camper? huh? Not running the whole camper, but like running a lot of it and definitely like backing up the main power grid that's inside of it. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. So that motherfucker hasn't been that was put in there in 2008. So it was like all swole up, fucked What's up. And, yeah. and we didn't. Yeah. So that was the first problem that needed to be changed. After that, after we got that changed, uh, uh, which even without the 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 other uh, electrics inside of the uh, the camper it like the lights were coming on and everything but like we had to run a, a heater on an extension cord and all that and that gets real touch and go like you'd much rather like the heating situation in there it's it's uh well it's is just it sydney? not a lot of huh is it sydney is it you just sydney? cuddle with sydney for heat no 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 it's more of a money thing than it is anything else that like like, like that like uh it's a uh how to get the most so like if you're putting like all this wattage in there with these like these uh because you have to keep okay sorry i'm going all ahead of myself i think that you didn't you get to keep the joke but continue oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> just go <laughs> it's come and gone <laughs> sorry that's okay I, I'm sitting here trying to try try to say the problem, but like, but 
No, we, we you just try to keep the money down because you have to keep so many things plugged in. So your extension cords get because you have to keep the water warm because it's getting well water. So you have to uh -huh. keep the well warm. You have to keep the water outside, the hot water heater, the the showers, the outside showers. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to keep them going. So it's like, yeah. Uh, anyway, it's, that was a problem. Anyway. That does sound honest. exciting. So Sorry. day one, and then what day are you on now? Day two, three. <sighs> Yeah, but we got it fixed. We got it fixed. Oh. And what it, what it was was like the uh, the uh, the only thing that wasn't running it, I guess it lost the neutral in it. Uh, uh, it lost the neutral. So it was like showing that it was getting uh, power, but like the power wasn't getting out. Oh, I don't understand any of that. Plug. But I believe you. Yeah, okay. 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 Sorry. No, that's okay. I just, my brain has a hard time conceptualizing. Like, I still cannot remember the difference between voltage and wattage. I, I, I never will. I've, I've learned it so many times and I just, no, I can't. Well, one so. of the reasons why I, I was real plugged in, I was real plugged in right there trying to explain that. And I don't even know if I explained it right. It's because I've been thinking about trying to explain what the guy told me, but like, I don't know what it is either. He told me we lost the neutral, I guess. <laughs> I was just sure. trying to say it. Yeah. I was trying to relate it. I probably didn't do a good job. Sorry. You did a great job. I think that I just have a hard time with uh, that concept. I always have. So uh, welcome back everybody to <laughs> our third episode. Well, how about this? Welcome new listeners right. to the third episode of Life and Death and Dirt. And welcome back all of our friends who are the only people that probably listened to episode one and two. Uh, I'm Rosie. I'm a nurse. I don't want to be a nurse anymore. I'm afraid to die, but I know a lot about dying. DJ is all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. A ma a ma a jack of all trades and a master of enough not just a master of fucking off. A fucking complete professional at at fucking off. As you around. should, DJ. As you should. That's fantastic. So it sounds like are you are you still growing anything? Do you have anything yes. that's still like that? Yes. What do you have? So, yes, our jalapenos are doing fantastic. Ooh. It's crazy. Can't kill our okra. Our okra is going crazy. And our Roma tomatoes are like, they haven't done shit all year. And right now, they are so thick. And they're getting so, they're like, they're better than they were at the beginning of the season. Oh. Do you like to, uh, do you preserve any of your? produce are you planning on it we were kind of scared to get so we had a lot on our hands this year it kind of went yeah. sideways like it's definitely one of those things that, like you try to plan out what are you what you're gonna do and then the next thing you find out your car stolen and then you gotta fucking that dude that whole time. thing yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay so maybe not preserving produce this year that seems reasonable yeah, because the botulism botulism is like you want to be plugged in right you want to be like when you start canning and start getting in that stuff, like you want to know that you're not going to poison yourself. Yeah. I th Yes, you're right. But I feel like it's pretty obvious. Like if you've, we've done a lot of canning. I learned how to can from my husband because he did it with growing up on a farm. Um, and we've had a couple jars that go bad, so to speak. And you know, right away, like you pop it open, it smells wrong or there's something growing on top. Like it's not... It you know? seems like that, but do you remember there was like an epidemic of motherfuckers like getting into like, I and this might have been during COVID that I read this article, but like people were literally like poisoning themselves. It was like an epidemic and it, it happened every year with like mushrooms, like, you know, people want to go mushroom hunting and they end up getting poisoned. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, don't munch on a hunch, kids. All right. Don't munch on a hunch. If you but don't look like exactly what you think it's supposed to look like. You know what I mean? If you have any yeah. questions, do not eat that son of a bitch. Um, but there was like this this epidemic of people like trying to do whatever canning during COVID, I guess, is what I think I remember reading it. And they were just poisoning the shit out of themselves. Huh. So it seems like it would be obvious, but like, obviously, don't ev ever underestimate my personal ability to be completely stupid. No, and do something you wouldn't so be, though. dumb. No, you say I don't think that. Would be. My potential, I, there's potential. Um. Okay, I'll I'll take your word for it. But 
Yeah, maybe a bunch of people did start canning and start poisoning themselves, but did you see how many people couldn't even fucking wear a mask correctly? So we're, we're dealing with the really, like, you know what I mean? The curve is way lower than we thought it was. So I think, I I think you'll be just fine trying it. But yeah, sometimes you do get a uh, a jar or a can that goes bad, but it's obvious. If you have a good sense of smell, I know some people can't really smell, especially after COVID, but um no, just right, do a uh, sniff test. Yeah, she right. could just smell it. Or sometimes just look at it. So speaking of stinky stuff, mm -hmm. oh. stuff, we've also got a skunk. So not only has the power been out, we've been dealing with a skunk. But I'm going to be honest, the more that we read about this skunk and the more interaction that we have with it, we're thinking about just keeping it around. Mm -hmm. But like, how do you keep it around and like, you know, it'll eat your chickens, apparently. It'll definitely eat mice. They definitely eat mice and stuff like that. Skunks eat mice? Oh. Fuck yeah, dude. I yeah, didn't know that. Dude, dude, skunks are oh, your, thank are you, your skunks. home. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. dude. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like and it's like, face. yeah, so it's like, okay, it's not, it, we smell it. You know what I mean? Like, we mm -hmm. smell it. And somehow it's getting in the laundry room, in the laundry shed. So it's like, where it's got to be through a duct or something and when it gets out from in there it definitely fucking stinks but then uh -huh. again i guess it's like chasing mice in there maybe i don't know um it's probably building a burrow and having babies in there to check oh my god no. it's warm you know or that because do you have a dryer in there it's yeah like warm in there mm. yeah 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 i don't know it's crazy so we leave sticky traps in there. I don't know what the humane way. Like I don't. We don't like poison. Obviously, you know, if you poison the mice, then you end up poisoning the owls, and you end up poisoning. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah. yeah. Plus, with your dog uh, and Nessie. And, oh sure, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, so we just try to use like sticky traps because li we live in on a mountain in a in a field you know what i mean like there's yeah. no way to keep like yeah stuff there's just you just deal with that and uh so we so we put sticky traps but it's crazy it's, it'll be like every once in a while we'll get one but or there'll be like three or four on one and then i'll just mice or skunks yeah mice oh i was like oh my god did yeah, you no, 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 no. <laughs> man that's what i'm saying what if yeah. but, but that that was oh. what i was going to end to that's what i was going to end with because like then we'll go months and months and months and there there won't be nothing you won't see uh you won't see nothing you'll see a lot of hawks you know what i mean but you won't see a uh you won't see a mouse and uh dude one day we saw this fucking bird first thing in the morning this bird was just flying past this rat out in the field and was just like picking the shit out of it all the way oh across God. yeah oh. dude it oh. was crazy it was nature crazy. It was like, we don't need to be that brutal total se secret of nim it was like it was like oh what? my god that movie <laughs> traumatizing yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yes. oh my goodness yeah i thought you were gonna say it just picked it up and flew away with it which it did it just beat its ever. ass it was just beat its ass. I, I we don't know what the and hell happened. Oh. Uh yeah. Well, I mean, and then it just we just disappeared into the darkness. You know, we didn't see it anymore. But uh that sounds personal. Yeah. I guess that I guess that's a, beef with that rat. Yeah, I guess what I was getting at is like, what's the humane way? Like, cause if I ever saw the like a baby skunk or if I saw a baby possum or something on one of those sticky traps, like I'm starting to feel not cool about that. Mm -hmm. But I also don't want to use. Uh, I also don't want to use like a ha I'll have a heart trap. Like okay, mm -hmm. if we trap a skunk, well that means you got to let that fucking skunk out. You're getting sprayed. Yeah. You're getting fucking yeah. sprayed. And you it's have not to throw a blanket over it or something, maybe. I don't but know. even then, you got to open up the end. Like you're, and it's got to come out. Like you're. I yeah. mean, I guess I would have. You'd have to just throw the dice out there. But I don't think that there's any good. Plus, I don't want to trap it. I don't know. That's just my whoever's got. If anybody's got any kind of uh, suggestions, let us know. Yeah, please do because I don't know. I don't know the yeah. answer to that. Yeah. Is it better just to keep it around? I guess is what I'm saying. Is there any chance? Because I know a possum's teeth are sharp enough to get through chicken wire, which we're actually closing up the the, the windows 
to the to the chicken coop because it's getting cold now. Um, it's down at thirty eight. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you are yeah. getting cold. I think we're about to be around there as well. This is just a cold snap. It'll get it'll warm back up. Um, but it did make us go, oh shit. You know what I mean? We need to we need to start. It's it's coming, coming. Okay, mm-hmm. we have fucked around. Is there any time <laughs> winter? Chickens are gonna find out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 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 right. Is there any kind of special stuff you guys got to do? Like, do you guys do you guys keep like uh, to to keep your winter life moving? Are there any? Yeah, we use a lot of straw. So not hay, but straw, which is also you know last episode we talked about how we both just learned the difference between dirt and soil. Mm-hmm. I also very recently learned there's a difference between hay and straw. Um, straw so is what straw right is now. like the waste product of um, grains, pretty much. Uh, it's like the yeah, stems yeah, 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 yeah. of yep. wheat and different grains. But okay. straw is a great insulator, um, and so that we will like pack the coop full of straw but the chickens will they'll like huddle together and keep each other warm um and we just make sure that they're they have fresh water every day because the water will freeze here right um some people will go so far as to get water heaters like different ways Mm -hmm. to keep the water warm enough so it doesn't freeze but we just swap it out every day our ducks are really interesting because they are fine in the they'll go in the frozen pond Uh we just we have a we have a little pond um and we'll go outside and like it freezes over, but we'll we'll open up a tiny little hole for them. Yeah. <laughs> like we'll break yeah. it. And they will freaking swim in the frozen wow. water. They love it. Wow. Yeah, they're fine. And then they'll sit on the snow and they like lift their feet up when when it gets too cold on their feet, but their feathers are so insulated that they're fine. Wow. They do fine in the snow. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Wow, yeah. That's so much fun. Animals like just being out of food, it's just the best. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I definitely love the city. Uh, there's definitely things I appreciate about a city, but like, you know, having your animals and stuff, man, this is so cool. It is, but it does, it requires a lot, a lot of, uh, space, a lot of time, a lot of energy that a lot of people don't have, you know, not in this. Not in this economy. So. No, no, no. I, dude, we're, dude, we're so lucky. I like, feel lucky too. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah to be grateful. Be um, grateful is what's there. It is. I know I have a hard time with it sometimes though, because I'm just so freaking depressed about the climate <laughs> you know, like, yeah oh i'm grateful that i'm here doing this with you right now dj that's what i'm talking about uh yeah. yeah so we uh oh you know what i wanted to talk about your skunk again i've never heard that skunks eat chickens i guess they would maybe like attack big chickens though would they go for big chickens Hey, it's I don't have ones. any ideas. I, it tripped me out that they ate r- mice and shit. So it's like, yeah. oh wow, I didn't even know it was going down like that with a with a. Yeah, with a yeah. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know. I figured a chick. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know. These chickens will fucking fight. I know that they they'll yeah. beat the fuck. They'll beat the fuck out of something. They beat the fuck out of snake. Man, they got fuck. They, they can see a grasshopper. You'll. You won't see it, you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, one will dart off and grab. And you just be have a, at a place that you've just been looking at. And you won't even have seen the grasshopper. And the chicken will just shoot out of there and grab it. Grab That's it all awesome. It's yeah. So awesome. That's cool. Chickens, I've heard some breeds of chicken will also hunt mice and bulls and like little. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I've seen them. I've seen them. Little critters. Uh, yeah. 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 I've seen them beat the shit out of a, a little bull. Yeah. 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 Also, ducks, uh, you know, so we have chickens that we're hoping will kind of go after some of the voles in our garden because that is something that we've had to deal with a lot. That's like our number one pest is little moles and voles. Um, But ducks, it makes sense if you think about it when they live in the wild. uh, But we're just so used to like throwing them bread or frozen peas or whatever, or we feed them, you know, duck food. Uh, But they eat they eat uh, fish and frogs, too. Like I've seen them catch little fish in the pond. And they go crazy. Like, they chase each other for it. And Wow. Um, yeah. 
Uh, and then one day there was a little frog hopping across the uh, driveway. And I was like, oh, Mama Duck, come here, look at the frog. And then she was like, and ate it. And I was screaming. Because <laughs> I just wanted her to look at it and like, see what she would do. And she was like, oh, yeah, delicious. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the heads <laughs> up. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Poor frog. I, yeah. know, I just wanted her to see it. And I was like, oh, I'm stupid. Of course she would eat it. She's a freaking animal that lives in the wild. Yeah. Like, you know, normally. Yeah, but you just don't expect to see them like, like much on, on other life like that. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah, you forget they're omnivores because we just feed the plants. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, do you want to talk about death? Uh, We can. I'm kind of in a silly mood. I, I hope. Uh, Do something yeah. silly, DJ. That sounds better. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I bet it's been very much. Uh, oh, I tell you, it's one thing also about death that's cool. Uh, that's that's on the on on a kind of a brutal side, but also really really uh -huh. rad to watch. It's after uh -huh. they hate they hate. Is this a you? Okay. Uh, Go ahead. After they after they hay these fields, you know they'll run over like animals, mm -mm. mice, rabbits. No, okay, that's enough. Well, then we yeah, get the will. big vultures. Yeah, then mm -hmm. we get the big turkey vultures, big vultures flying, swooping in, and like all in the field, like eating and stuff. And it's crazy. It's one of my favorite things to do. They're so huge. They're massive. These these birds are so. These turkey vultures are so massive. They are. Yeah, they look like a uh, something out of a movie. Like their wingspan. Yeah. Is how many feet? Yeah. I don't know. Huge. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. seeing them over there uh, in the field is uh, it's 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 incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible to watch them eat in the field like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have them up here too, and they are uh, a huge, important part of the ecosystem. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they really are. Um. So we see them and sometimes they'll, uh, do you ever see them where they're clearly kind of riding the the heat vents kind of, and they're yeah. all kind of circling yeah. around an area and just soaring. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. We get that around here, like above the lakes and, and uh, other areas. Yeah. I love it. I was thinking about uh, the other day, cause I saw this, you know, these turkey vultures, especially when you see a bunch circling together. Um, and then I saw a video of some like gray whale coming up to a boat. And some guy was like picking the barnacles off of it. <laughs> I was like, can you imagine the first humans that saw that animal? Like I would die on the spot. Yeah. I would be like, oh, it's yeah. a beast. It's here to yeah, eat me. Yeah, or, like, see yeah, all yeah. those turkey vultures in the sky, yeah. like those huge birds. Oh my goodness. I just wonder what went through their head. Like, did they... Were they just so used to seeing new things all the time that they're like, oh, okay, yeah, gigantic monster. Yeah, that would that or, have to be like a total yeah, that would totally be like, yeah, there's monsters, there's all kind of stuff. Like when they when 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 the uh Europeans went over to uh to uh the jungle for the first time and saw a <laughs> leopard and a fucking <laughs> elephant, <laughs> man. Oh, what the yeah, fuck, man? A hippo. What oh. the fuck? Yeah. Yep. It had it had to have tripped them the fuck out. Man, ain't it crazy? Here's one of the facts that, that just blow my mind every day is that dinosaur bones were like like found after George Washington. Like George Washington had no idea that there were dinosaurs. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh <laughs> isn't that oh. fucking crazy. What an idiot that guy was. What a fucking... He didn't even know about dinosaurs. He didn't even yeah. know about it. We got him writing a fucking constitution. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Motherfucker didn't At even know about dinosaurs. Yeah, oh my gosh. what a fucking... What oh. a... What, yeah, it's all a lie. All I a lie. did... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well... There you go. It goes to show you, I guess we're way smarter than we realize and we're still so freaking stupid so freaking like, stupid oh so anyway funny. yeah well yeah. <laughs> have you thought any more about what you would like to happen um after you die no i think it's I, I, oh to my body no i haven't had a chance to get into that but i still mm. i think i think that that should be on our list of things to do 
here soon. I will be on the road next week. I know this is going to come on after I already have been back, but um, yes, I will. I will read it. I will read about this. I will read into it. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what your options are so far. Okay. Okay. So, uh, things that you can have uh, done to your corpse when you die. Okay. You can have a burial. Uh, and a lot of people, like what we've done in the last hundred years, is a lot of people are embalmed and then buried in a casket in the ground. Um, that's very expensive. And it uses a lot of chemicals that maybe we don't need to use. And takes up a lot of space. Okay. You can, but for whatever reason, sometimes people choose that. <clears throat> you can be cremated. Uh, you, which also takes up a lot of energy. Like we forget, we don't really think about um, the carbon output of a crematorium and how much energy that that takes to actually be cremated. But yeah. it is a good option for people. It's usually less expensive than being buried. And by the way, don't hesitate to call around different funeral homes and ask them what their prices are because their prices are all over the fucking board, like for, for different services. So yeah. if you uh, feel like you want to be cremated, call around and find who has the, you know, the price. Is it, easy to, for you. Is, it, is it easy to do that as like, I mean, I guess you should do that, have that done before you go. Like know where you're, I mean, my grandparents did, mm -hmm. but is that something to do as like uh family of the, uh, the deceased? Is it easy for you to like, call these folks i mean they're pretty probably pretty used to go hey man what's your rates who is the families yeah or do you think you get a better deal doing it first doing it yourself first oh um i don't know if you'd get a better deal uh i don't think you're gonna get a good deal period because the death industry is what it what it is capitalist to the core uh but what i can tell you is for for people who have died and then their family i'm standing there and i'm like which funeral home do you want me to call? And their family's like, I don't know. It's so stressful for them to try to figure that out. Um, they're overwhelmed with grief at the time. And it's just like one more task for them to take care of. And they're not always making like clear decisions when they're heartbroken yeah. if their loved one has died. So I think it's better if you call and you have an idea yeah. of uh, which yeah. funeral home you'd like to use or, or how what you'd like um, done to your body yeah. after you die. But that's hard, a hard phone call for a lot of people to make because it's kind of, you have to accept your mortality. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we've we come to that the agreement that we need like uh, life insurance on each other. Yeah. We finally did that adult thing. Uh-huh. Here's the fun part about getting life insurance. They uh, make you do a full physical. They want to check all your vital signs and they'll find reasons not to cover you. So yeah. don't lie, whatever you do on your oh, application. <clears throat> yeah. So um, you could be, um, you could be buried, you could be cremated. And now we have some newer options. Well, uh, one of the options that's newer is you can have a water cremation in some areas. Water this is not available everywhere. Yeah. It's called aquamation or alkaline hydrolysis. And this is where your body is put into this tank with, I don't know what percentage it is, mostly water, but then also um, an alkaline solution. And then the tank is heated and <laughs> pressurized and it um, just leaves your bones behind. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So it basically, oh God. Okay. Trigger warning, please, everybody hang in there. Um, it's... Uh, dissolves all of your soft tissue and just leaves your bones behind. And then uh, after that, your bones are pulverized. Can you keep the bones? Is that an option? Yes. Oh, I don't know oh, if you can keep the bones whole. That would be cool though, right? Yeah, that would be. Yeah, that would be. Um, yeah. I don't know. You know, I didn't think to ask that or look into that. Well, that would be cool. That's a, that's, that sounds like a cool option. That's definitely, if that comes with it, that's definitely number one. Yeah, that's definitely the top. If, if if I get to keep my bones, definitely. If Dre gets to keep my bones, a hundred percent. Yes. Yes, she yes. would love that. <laughs> yes. She would. No, there's no oh, question. God. 
you know, I'm going to guess that probably it's not an option for some reason. It'd be cool to look into. Maybe somebody knows. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So after, as far as I understand, the way they typically do it is after this aquamation or alkaline hydrolysis, they take all of your bones and they pulverize them. So then you get, you get like um, cremains, basically. Okay. Oh, did you know with cremation, uh, the fire kind of cremation, I talked last episode about how most people are cremated in a cardboard box and we feel like kind of weird about having our body in a cardboard box, but that's pretty typical actually. Uh, most people will not purchase a multi-thousand dollar casket to be put into a crematorium um, just to be incinerated. So what is it that you get after a cremation? Like what do they give you in the urn? Uh, your ashes? Wrong. <laughs> that don't hit it's okay uh we call them ashes they are called they're actually cremains because what happens in a crematorium is um the temperature is between 1600 and 1800 degrees fahrenheit which my brain can't conceptualize that at all i have no yeah. idea all i know is that's hot you know yeah like, yeah um but it's hot enough to incinerate all the tissues of your body but not your bones so what's left over is just your bones and bone fragments, and those are pulverized. Wow. And then that's actually what is the quote unquote ashes. It's it's bone dust. Wow. Yep. So that's why they call them cremains. Oh, um, wow. But we colloquially, colloquially yeah. call colloquially. them ashes. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that interesting? I never knew that. No, yeah, that's yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, okay, and then another option is to have a direct natural burial, which is what I'm absolutely choosing if I can. And that is where your body is put into the ground whole, you are not embalmed, and you are buried in some kind of a material that's compostable. So cardboard box, wooden box, or a shroud, linen, cotton, or silk shroud. And that's cool. And I mean, then then you're just buried like that. Uh, that would be my my choice, personally. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's definitely number one. If I can't keep the bones, like we can, if Drake can keep the bones, mm -hmm. like not we. I obviously will not be keeping my bones. <laughs> I won't be keeping anybody's bones. Yeah, you know, I I don't know what Drake wants for herself. I imagine it's something probably just throw me in a in, in a in a river or something. Yeah, throw me in a throw me in a box or whatever. Oh, burial at sea is a thing too. Oh, yeah, that just popped in my head. Somehow you can be buried at sea. Like there's certain I didn't look too much into it, um, but yeah, that sounds some very not that. what I would do because I wouldn't want to be around the people who is like whoever's got to drive the boat is probably not cool, you know. Mm -hmm. Whoever, mm -hmm. whoever, you know, or maybe they just drive the death boat and they got a racket on that, and that don't seem cool. Like I don't know, making they making that your business. Like you fish uh -huh. during the day, then you drop body. I don't know. Well, it is big business, all of it. Yeah, yeah all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just big business. So those are some of your options. Uh, some interesting facts about human remains. So some people have talked about. Um, there's this idea of being buried in this tree pod where your body can actually, uh, li like grow a tree. Yeah. So that's a concept. That's not a real thing, unfortunately. Okay. It's just a concept. Uh, but the human body does not decompose in a way that would actually nourish a tree. Uh, right. We, I've always yeah. thought that. Yeah. 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 We are icky motherfuckers, right? Mm -hmm. Like we're mm -hmm. we, we we don't have a natural. Yeah. Uh, we, <laughs> anything. Uh, <forever> chemicals, <laughs> PFTs, fucking yeah, microplastics, plastic. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's true. Lead and plastic, disgusting. baby. Yeah. Um, so that's a cool idea, but it's not real. Um, it's making the rounds on social media and a lot of people think it's real, but it's not. And if it was real, how much do you think it would fucking cost? Everything. Right. Okay. So moving on, we're not going to be a tree. <laughs> um, there was also some talk about being buried in mushroom suits so that, oh, yes. yeah, so that you can, um, you know, have the mushrooms take over your body. You don't need a mushroom suit. The mushrooms will find you anyway. It doesn't, oh, yeah. you don't need yeah. to be buried in a multi-thousand dollar mushroom suit. Uh, you have fungus in you already. That's part of your 
you know, natural flora in your body, yeah. which is why when someone dies, you have to immediately refrigerate the body or, or preserve it in some way, because it will immediately start decomposing. I mean, that's, we don't need to buy mushroom suits. I don't think that's no. just extra stuff. Um, yeah. you don't need. Yeah. I tell you if you're having the green burial, the mushrooms are, are coming. That's yeah. the thing I know is dependent. It didn't matter what was going on out there when we were messing with the, the compost, there was, we were getting mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. That's great. That means you have really healthy compost. Yeah, well, yeah. really healthy soil for sure. This used actually used to be a uh, a uh, a go kart track, a big go kart track. Oh, I can see way, it in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah way huh? back in the day, way back. I mean, like in the in the thirties. Oh, they had yeah. go karts back then. They had fun yeah. back then. Oh yeah. shit! Okay. God. Yeah, I mean, it probably cost you like a nickel and yeah, a wooden nickel and a bushel of turnips, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but apparently it was big shit. It was it was big shit back in the day. And this here was a milking station. Uh, this house oh, here was sure. a, a that they, that they uh, turned, and then there's the barn, uh, which was the original cow barn. Anyway. Oh. I don't know why. And now you're here. Taking yeah, over. Crazy. Good for yeah. you. Ah, yeah, my God. Well, if that place is from the 30s, it is full of lead. So be yeah. careful. <laughs> yeah, don't eat the walls. Don't eat the paints. <laughs> God. No. Uh, let's see, what else? I feel like you do not want to talk about death because I keep trying and you keep pulling me away. <laughs> well, I think we talk. No, I think we talked good about death. That was that was yeah. that was great. That was great. That was great. I just oh, don't one think other I'm thing. There. Yeah, uh, no, hold on. One more thing about okay. uh, cremated remains, and uh -huh. I think this is true whether you are uh, fire cremated or water cremated. So a lot of people like to scatter the remains or ashes of their loved ones and i learned from the person who has the green cemetery near where i live actually came to our um my employer and did a whole workshop and kind of taught us all about it and mm. something that i didn't know is that human remains are very alkaline because they're bone so of course it's a ton of calcium but also a ton of sodium and so the ph of human remains is pretty alkaline and he said yeah. that uh, at the Green Cemetery that he has, there's a really popular spot where people like to scatter remains. And it's like killing the, the oh, plants no. in that area <laughs> because it's so, it's like alkaline. Al it's making the soil alkaline. Yeah. And so he talked about how he has to lovingly try to encourage people to like scatter them in other areas as well. Uh, so your body can't grow a tree. And your cremains also aren't going to be great for growing a tree either. So just take that into consideration for whatever choice you decide to make for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. That's what I had. <clears throat> no, that was great. That's you the death part. You should. How about life? What are you doing to feel alive, DJ? Oh, man, just living. <laughs> yeah, just looking out into the beautiful landscape there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, just doing the thing. What about you? I have been really busy. It's so boring when people say that. Oh, I'm so busy, but I am very busy <laughs> right now. And it's yeah. overwhelming, but I've been doing burlesque, which has been so fun. Nice. Oh my gosh. That makes me feel fucking alive. Yeah. yeah. That's been a blast. Um, I had anxiety shits for three days before my debut, but then I did it and it was, it was so fun. Yeah. And it keeps me active, so that's good. Yeah. It keeps me young. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's Got great some shows to be... coming up. I don't know if they're going to be happening before this episode comes out, but I got another one on October 14th and another one in November. Right uh, on. Some date. I don't know. That's great. Is this, the first time, is this the first time you've known anybody do you, or that you're meeting and being uh, introduced to the community, like a, a community outside of like your normal community? Or do you know a lot of people within this community already? The burlesque community? Uh -huh. Uh, This is first time, but I mean, I fucking dove in head first, baby. Like, you know, I, yeah, I went for it. Um, Are you enjoying course, the culture? Yes. Yes, I am. At least the people that I've met, 
Um, the community is so inclusive and I, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Very, very inclusive of um, orientation, gender, age, bodies. Like it's, it's really supportive and I love that. And I feel like the community that I'm connected with here in the Finger Lakes area is sincerely inclusive. I think that there's a lot of performative inclusivity that happens across any kind of entertainment, sure. you know, um, sure. where they're like, oh, yeah, oh, there's a uh, a fat burlesque performer. Clap really loud for her. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Um, but actually, I feel like the area that I'm at truly is like delighted by every every performer and whatever way they show up on stage. So that feels really good. I love that. And um, it's been fun. Yeah. I'm sure there's some parts of it that are going to be stressful or frustrating, but I haven't gotten there yet. And I'll deal with them if I, fuck, been a nurse, shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure, for it. sure. <laughs> but for sure, I'm yeah. glad that you're enjoying this, the, uh, the new, because, you know, it's funny, like, every every little spot's got its own, its own etiquette, its own spoken rules, its own, you know, the, the you, you know, and it's, and it's weird when you get into a new activity of any sort like that which already has a culture around it um and being introduced to like all these brand new ideas and ways and, and social norms and et cetera et cetera et cetera it's so interesting so those people are so cool man they can be <laughs> yeah and i've been really lucky you're right there is very much the etiquette and like the the flow and the you know the way that you're supposed to handle yourself yeah, um, of the burlesque community, but I've been really lucky that I got hooked up with a great mentor who yeah. she truly is like fulfilled by mentoring people. So she's been a, a huge source of uh, guidance and knowledge That's for me, fantastic. and I feel very lucky. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, really so lucky. Yeah, so fantastic! Right on, right on. That's, fan That's great to hear. That's great to hear because I've I've uh, I've, I've I've wondered that. Um, but that's great to hear. Yeah, it's been a fun time. Yeah, thanks. Right. Ben. Yeah, for sure. So, um, that's all I have. Yeah. If you don't want to talk about that some more. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, not uh, today. Yeah, not on a day like today. Wait till it's it's either super well, it'll be cold, and I'll be having some sort of water issue at some point in time, and I'll oh, and God. we'll dive right into death. I guess we cold, will. The cold, the cold grip of the icy grim reaper. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I'll be right there with you then. Okay. It's too pretty today. It is gorgeous there. I see you walking all around. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm trying to make sure. We, so we got the electricians at our house. So I'm just kind of also watching down at my place to make sure. Just so. Just supervising. Like a little, yeah, not supervising. But. <laughs> That's a major dad move right there. Just <laughs> walking back and forth, and just keeping an eye, pretending like you're on a phone call. <laughs> That's some papa energy, DJ. <laughs> Boy, so much down, 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 I don't know shit. Good. Oh, DJ, you adorable little. Little old man. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Do you have a joy and a dread for us? You didn't get to do it last week because your uh, internet. Joy. Well, joy is just living and you know, and and what was the other one? Death. <laughs> dread. Oh, dread. Uh, you don't seem honestly, like you're in the mood to do that though. Honestly, seem... like, but yeah, right now, uh, well, I dread. <laughs> I uh, no, no, I don't dread anything really. I mean, I guess I dread. Uh, I dread, uh, oh, this breeze is fucking magnificent. Can you see, you see this breeze? Oh. Yeah. Uh, what temperature is it right now? Uh, is it dude, cool it's there? Like, yeah, it's like 60. Oh, that's like, perfect. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, I'm dreading. What about you? Joy and Dread. Joy and Dread? I dread yeah. Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip is one of the worst products I've <laughs> yeah. made. I yeah, cannot really. believe that people want to eat that. Yeah. If I yeah. wanted that flavor, I would just make myself yes. vomit. Like it that's oh yeah. Miracle yeah. Whip is nasty. 
And I yeah. love, I love um, salads like potato salad and egg salad ah, and tuna salad. Like I love yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah. you have to go in if you yeah. if you are um, you know have taste buds and you know what Miracle Whip tastes like. You right. have to go into those salads with a tiny little tester bite first. Yep. And yep. man, when it's made with Miracle Whip, oh Ugh. yeah. God. Fine, I'll just eat rolls. I'll just eat. Yeah, the yeah, like, yeah. Oh. Good call. I, no. Miracle yeah. is so disgusting. Uh, right. So that's my, you know, I've noticed I made a list of my dread and joy and my dread list is way longer than my yeah. joy list. <laughs> oh, at the bottom of my list, I put when people put fruit in salsa, get the fuck out. Uh, yeah, no. Oh man, I like a good no. peach habanero. No. Oh man, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. No, no. And I think maybe that's why I don't like Miracle Whip because clearly I don't like things that are sweet and no, and salsa at the same fucking, time, no. or and salty. Yeah, Miracle Wish is garbage. Yeah, garbage. Yeah. Uh, my joy is uh people laughing. Nah, Honestly, yeah. I love listening to people laugh. Kids laugh. Like I, yeah, I could yeah. listen to it. Um, or my joy is like when you meet someone and they're a really jolly person, and like the first time you make them laugh, and you're like, oh. Oh, you got that. Oh, okay. Okay. I I know you're <laughs> kind, you know, like people that are really yeah. jolly and just like boisterous yeah. and laugh at things. I love that. That gives me serotonin, which I clearly need because these receptors <laughs> are blown the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> what else, DJ? Yeah, that seems that pretty is. good. I think you're ready to just blast off into the sun there. You are. Yeah. Loving I got, got some stuff, stuff to do. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta fish this uh this uh chicken coop for tonight. And then uh we're gonna try to make uh some spaghetti in this insta pot. It's the first time I'm making spaghetti in the insta pot. So oh good luck. Go for that. Yeah. Yep. yep. DJ yeah. would love to be sponsored by Instapot, but it sounds like they don't have any money left. And they're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they went bankrupt or something. Yeah, they, yeah, they go bankrupt. Man, oh. we made fucking Dude, we made so many bad meals, man, in that thing. And it's just like, we really enjoyed having it. Really enjoyed having it. Shout out to Instapot. Y'all were good. R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Instapot. <laughs> oh. All right, everyone. Well, oh, we man. will be back next week with something. DJ, it was lovely to see you. It was lovely to see Give you. Give my love to all of your animals and Dre. I sure and will. And I will uh, see you next time. All right. Catch you on the flip side, fuckers. Oh.